Today, we're staying in one of the most historic cabooses in America. This is the Cotton Belt Caboose, located here in Jewett, Texas, on Lake Limestone. And we're staying here for 24 hours. Wow! This is beautiful! <laughs> Whoa! All aboard, I'm going to be your conductor, Plant Daddy. Let's tour this caboose. First, we have the living room. I was very impressed by how the owners of the Airbnb fit the comfort of a living room in a train caboose. Ah, oh, I love this big comfortable couch. And you can also sit out and see the sunset over the lake. That is beautiful right there. This happens to be my favorite part of the caboose is the kitchen. I love cooking and I think that I'm gonna cook something later on. Maybe something like a sesame risotto with some mushrooms. That's not good. And this is a stove. Not a regular stove, but a really mini stove that is perfect for a caboose. I love the fact that this place still has all the old accents, like some of the same original wood, the, the walls are original, even the floor is original as well. And I'm gonna let Mark share more about it. Mark is the owner of this Airbnb, and I asked him to give us a guided tour to show us all the details inside. A lot of the cabinets are original, the floor is original. My wife did all the staining. Wow. Sand and she's, and we actually, if you saw the roof, I hate to back you up there, but the roof up there is, that's not the original color of the roof. But we had literally 10 or 15 people say, you need to leave that. She sanded it down and said, man, that looks good. I want to leave it like that. Like it. it made it look a little antique -y. And antique it was. This red caboose had the cleanest bathroom and everything you need to keep yourself clean. Room is spacious as well. Y'all, this caboose had a queen-size bed. And Mark and his wife continue with the train details and repurpose some of the original pieces. There's where she found the original number, and that's actually the outlay of the original number. The special touch is what makes it so unique, yeah. you know? And I like the fact that you left a lot of the pieces still in here, because I still feel like I'm in an old, almost 100-year-old well, train. You are, yeah. Mark is such a great host. We laughed, shared our love for trains, and for hosting guests because we are also starting our own Airbnb very soon. All aboard! The exterior of the caboose incorporated original train pieces to make the perfect outdoor experience. But before we could explore, we needed to get settled in. I just wanna sit down and relax for a second and see what's on TV. And we've arrived at the historic Cotton Museum. And this is exactly where it all begins. This building looks exactly like it used to look in the late 1900s. I'm so excited to learn about the historic train that originated in East Texas. Now let's go inside. Wow, this place is Awesome. Yeah. Good to see you again. See you. Yes. Sir. That's what I'm not <laughs> <laughs> So you know me. That's amazing. Yes, I do remember your face now. And this is Jim Jones, and he's one of the volunteers of the museum here. Jim knew absolutely everything about this train, down to the mechanics of the toy replica, stories of each photograph, plus the original equipment and gear used. Of course, I had to ring the bell be the oldest cotton belt artifact we have and maybe in existence. Those are brass baggage tags. Imagine me as a conductor. So many buttons to press and lights to turn on. This museum had every artifact you will hope to see in a historic place. Even birds wanted to check it out. Y'all ready to ride this train? <laughs> I needed to see for myself what Jim told me earlier. Cotton Belt Railroad started out as the Tyler Tap Railroad. Historic trains feel like time traveling. To think that everything inside of here once made the Cotton Belt 
the Cotton Belt of East Texas. Thank you so much, Jim, for all the history, the tour of this beautiful station. And if you're watching this video, and if you're ever in the Tyler, Texas area, make sure you come here to the historic Cotton Museum, downtown Tyler, Texas, and tell Jim I said hello as well. So you wanna see me come Thursdays. Oh, Thursdays, <laughs> there you go, right there. All right, so let's go back and stay in the caboose. Remember that mushroom risotto I promised you? I would make it for this perfect train stay. I got my knife out, opened a package. Wow, look at these mushrooms. So many variety of mushrooms. That's why I love them so much. My two favorite things, cooking and trains. What a magical experience this has been so far. Conductive planet, Daddy. I feel like I'm really part of the train staff. And if you're liking the video so far, be sure to subscribe. Thanks to our host, Mark, for going above and beyond for us. That's what makes a great host. Mark, I'm definitely gonna give you five stars. Austin got our dinner arrangement set. Bon appetit. even though it is a train caboose. While Will is relaxing, I decided to get some work done. Oh my gosh, Austin. Austin. Oh, there you go. Oh, you look like the pillow. <laughs> Outside, there were some really nice lights that lit up the entire caboose so you could see it from the street. It's been a long day. <sighs> this is a very cozy and comfortable bed. I'll see you in the morning. What are you eating? Cherries. <laughs> the next morning, I woke up early and looked out the window. Oh, so foggy out. I made a hot cup of coffee and added some mushroom supplements. Y'all, I love all things mushrooms, and these tinctures give me that extra boost and energy and wellness that I need. I hopped in my Jeep and went to the grocery store. There was an adventure waiting around the corner. So there was a local, I guess, farmer down there that uh, one of his cows had got out. And growing up in the country, being around animals, I'm not scared of cows. That was actually uh, a girl. Um, so I wasn't really not scared of a guy cow either, but just trying to help him out, make sure the cow doesn't get injured or anything like that because there's other cars driving down the street, this country road, and I want them to hurt the cow. Good job, Will, thank you. Yeah, I'm just doing my vegan duty. We sat outside and enjoyed our breakfast. It was a very delicious meal. We got up and explored the property. This used to be full of water here, but it's since dried up because Texas did have a heat wave this past summer. There's a caboose over there. This is an island that you can walk to out here. We enjoyed Shorty's caboose, but we had to end our stay. 
Chasing a Sunset. We love trains, we love food, we love nature, but there's something super special about trains and sunsets. I hope you've enjoyed this video of Train Stay. And if you love this video, there's a lot of more videos like this coming up. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and comment below. Tell me what was your favorite thing about this video. All right, time to go home. Ah, oh, that was so beautiful. I've always ridden on trains, but I've never stayed in a train caboose. So I can't wait to continue this journey. Austin and Plant Daddy. <laughs> We're going on more adventures. Until next time, y'all. Peace.